The next layer effect or thing that you can modify using layers that I want to talk about today is content aware scale. And we've seen content aware several times throughout the semester. We've used content aware fill many times because it's kind of a fun, quick way to get rid of elements in a page or to fill in areas that have a gap. And we also use the content aware move tool to move an object from one side of the screen or the, the page to another. The next content where we're going to talk about is content aware scale. It is used to stretch images without distorting them or distorting them as much as stretching them would. The image below needs to be wider to be used in the project. Stretching it or pulling it to the right to make it bigger distorts the aspect ratio, making the result look funny and off-putting. You can see that the statue, it clearly looks different from the first example to the second example. When using content aware scale, uh, you can make the image wider without making it look as distorted. And so if we look at this example here, I chose edit and then content aware scale, your image will get handlebars across it and then you can slowly drag the, the handlebar to the right and it will slowly start to stretch and reposition the image so that it will fill up the entire page. And you might be thinking to yourself, well the image on the right, it doesn't look great either. Well it doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look identical to the original, but it looks much better than the stretched version. And so if we compare them side by side and we look at two specific areas on each image, you can see the difference when we use the content aware scale versus using a stretch or just pulling it to the side. And so if we look at her waist, the statue's waist, you can see that on the left image, the one that I just stretched, um, her waist looks much larger than it does on the image on the right hand side. And then also if you take a look at her neck, her neck was elongated when I stretched it, but when I used content aware scale, it did not. Now you could take this even one step further. You can save a selection of the area that you say that is the most important part of the picture. I do not want you to destroy it. And so when we jump over to Photoshop, I'll show you how to save a selection and then say, when I'm, when I'm stretching or I'm content aware scaling this image, stretch and scale everything, but do not destroy this, this part I, I selected and I saved. Before we jump over there though, I do want to point out that you don't have to use content aware scale to make things bigger. You can use it to make images smaller. And so in this example, I have a fountain. It's in landscape orientation and I want to use it as a square in my project. And so my options to make it a square is I could crop it, but if I crop it, I probably can't get the whole fountain into a square. I could squeeze it so I could grab the right hand side, I could move it to the left and I could pinch it in. But when you do that, it makes things look tall and skinny. And if you just look at that image, you might not know that's what happened, but you could look at it and say, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't look right, and something's off about it. But if you look at the version that I use the content aware scale tool for, it's now a square, it's squeezed all the stuff in, and it has repositioned the artwork so that I could have an image um, that is a square of the original statue, or not statue, fountain, without much or any distortion or noticeable distortion on my end. So let's jump to Photoshop and I'll show you how I did both of these examples. And so the first example is of the statue and I have my document open, I've duplicated the background layer and I am going to try to stretch the background copy to the right so it fills up the whole page because for whatever I'm using this for, I need it to be wider than it currently is. If we just choose edit free transform and we take the handlebar on the right hand side and we pull it, it will just stretch everything in the image equally and it will create a distorted look. If instead we choose edit transform, oh sorry, let's accept that change. If, if instead we choose edit and then content aware scale, as I start to pull the handlebar to the right hand side, you can see that different parts of the image start to stretch and move and it's not, it's not equally throughout because Photoshop is trying to figure out how it could stretch the image without making it look too funny. Eventually if I go too far with the content aware fill tool, it will start to distort things in my image that I don't want to have distorted. And so you could see that she's getting a giant arm. As I move further and further to the right, she's getting like a giant monstrous arm. Like she's some sort of, of horror, um, horror movie villain with a giant arm. And so content aware scale, work, scale works to an extent, but you have to make small changes and you have to make sure that if it starts to blow out something that's important to you, that you go back and redo it in some way. And the best way to do this is before you get started to select an area and say that area is really important, don't ruin it Photoshop. And so I use the lasso tool and I made a quick selection of the statue. 
if we go to the select menu and load the selection, you can see, oh, I guess I didn't hit save, so I'll just do it for you real quick. So I'm going to use a lasso. I'm going to select the area. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of make sure that everything that's important is inside the selection. Go all the way up here. With it selected, I'm going to save it. So if we choose select and save the selection, I'll call it statue. And now it's saved. It doesn't really do anything for us. I don't want to do content aware scale with it selected. Watch what happens if I do edit and content aware scale. It thinks I want to scale the thing that is selected. And so only the statue is going to be scaled. So that's not right. But what you can do is if you deselect and you go back and choose edit content aware scale. Before you start scaling, if we look at our options bar at the top of the screen, it changes to the settings that would be appropriate for your your, your scale that you're trying to do. And if we scroll to the right, you'll see that there's a protect option and it says none right now. But if I have any selection saved, like my statue, you could say protect the statue, do not destroy the statue. And so now as I drag to the right, so I have edit content aware skills selected and I'm protecting the statue. As I drag to the right, notice how the statue is not getting distorted, but the background is. And so the statue is more important than the background. So if I'm going to have a little distortion, I'd like it to be in the background because that's going to be non-distracting. And the statue remains the same. And so now when I look at the original versus the changed one, the actual statue has not changed. The background is stretched and it's a little wonky if you look specifically at the background. But the main subject area, the area that we decided or I decided was most important, has not been distorted at all.